Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another reaction. So today we're going to check out a scene from the movie Gangubai Katiyavari. It's a speech scene and I chose this video because at first I didn't tell you guys my whole kind of opinion about this whole movie and I want to take this opportunity now but after watching this scene I chose this scene actually it was so hard to pick a scene because this whole movie in my opinion is a whole masterpiece I love almost every single kind of scene in this like the performance of Arya was so powerful and I already told you my opinion I actually wanted to do it in the end but I was so so impressed by this whole movie guys really it was like a full package I laughed I smiled I cried a lot I felt the pain and wow I was absolutely mind blown and when I'm talking about it I, I'm getting goosebumps about it so it was so hard to pick a scene but I took this because uh, it was so awesome and the speech oh my god I actually wanted to react to this whole speech scene I think it is actually even more longer and I found this it was posted by Netflix India and that's why I took this opportunity so guys enough talking and let's watch Seriously guys, I could cry again. This whole movie is an absolute masterpiece. What I love about this whole scene, and this scene really shows what you can expect from this whole movie. You can expect powerful dialogues, um, monologues, in general, amazing delivery of lines. This isn't acting anymore, this is pure living and this is truthfulness all over this whole movie. Uh, I love it that Sanjidi Davansali really is awesome in picking his cast. Not only because of Alia and Alia, oh my god, she did an absolutely amazing performance in here. Like from the beginning till the end, there wasn't a single scene where I said, mm, Alia, no. I didn't see Alia in this, I saw the person Gangubai Katiyavari and it's a different topic if um, this uh, real life person got whitewashed or whatever it's a movie it's not a documentary it's a movie it's um, based on this whole story doesn't mean everything has to be like true that everything happened this way it is this whole story is being told in the Sanjali Levansali world and he always creates like his own world I'd say in every single kind of movie of his and what I actually wanted to say is that not only Alia was awesome I'm also talking about the other cast members in here we also saw Jim Sub here in this scene and he also is so awesome and I love the fact that Sanjali Levansali also gives like other actors and actresses a chance that aren't so big and Jim Saab is also someone who's so underrated we could see in here again he also I didn't see him as Jim Saab I saw him as um, his role in here I absolutely believed his performance and he was also so awesome he was so likable uh, which I where I was sometimes oh my god is he really is there isn't there something evil about him this can't be that he's so nice also, Shantanu Maheshwari was also awesome. Every single kind of actor and actresses in here. The supporting cast, Ajay Divkan, the supporting cast, all of the girls um, there, the prostitutes who were living with Alia, with Gangubai, there in this brothel. And I was so, so mind blown by this whole movie. Seriously, guys, it was the first movie in a long, long time where I felt like in the end I have to re-watch this movie. Of course, there were lots of controversies about this movie. At first because of especially Alia, she's kind of the face of this whole movie. She carried this whole movie on her back. Of course, all of the other actors and actresses were awesome as I said, but this whole movie is titled after Gangubai Katiyavadi and it's not called Mafia World or whatever, it's called Gangubai Katiyavadi. She is playing that role and that's why she had to carry this all in her bag and guys she was so awesome and as I said this whole scene really shows you what you can expect from this whole movie you can expect laughter you can smile you will 
cry, you, you will tear up, you will be angry at society, but you will also wake up yourself if you see okay. I also had some prejudice towards prostitutes and some other things. People said she wasn't the right choice for this movie and oh my god, she really showed them that they are all wrong for their opinion. Like, usually I say you can all have your opinion, you can have it, but in my opinion this whole uh, opinion of Alia being wrong <laughs> for this role, it is absolutely wrong. Alia was the perfect choice for this. We can really really trust Sanjay Lila Bantago when it comes to choosing a cast. And Alia really showed everyone that she is absolutely capable of uh, not doing like um, typical, especially rom-com movies that she did in the beginning of her career. No, she is a true artist and we could see it in here. She wasn't only chosen because of nepotism. Yes, that opens doors, we already know that, but you still have to prove yourself and now, especially now, she has absolutely proved herself. In my opinion, she even proved herself even way before in Brazi and Highway also early in her career. I can only praise that movie again and again. It was absolutely be awesome and also not only because of that there were controversies now then also when the movie released people were saying this whole movie whitewashed uh, Gangu by Katiyavadi the real life person her name was actually a little bit different and uh, she was um, she was fighting for uh, legalization of prostitution uh, not only for her kind of advantages but she also wanted to protect the other girls and uh, she didn't want other girls to become victims as she was a victim herself in the beginning when all of this started and she had to become a prostitute kind of but this movie is also kind of um, a wake-up call for the society I'd say uh, she didn't come back because of the society she didn't got back to her hometown because of the society because of the thinking because of her family's thinking and the reputation and so on so it is kind of a wake-up call that I also I also saw that in here and in my opinion this movie doesn't justify prostitution it uh, fights for uh, respect for those prostitutes and that is a huge difference in my opinion and guys I'd really, really love to know your opinion about this whole movie if you watched it what do you think about it about this whole performance the songs were also so awesome each and every single one of them at first I have to admit uh, that I had to get used to the songs at first I listened to them and I thought they were nice but especially after watching the movie and knowing um, the the importance of each of the songs and the depth and the message behind those songs and why they were there in the movie. Um, for example, Jobre Gori um, showing like the innocence of Gangubai at first in the whole movie. Then Miri Jan uh, Gangubai um, wanting to be loved by a man, and Doli Da. Then also Gangubai. Um, I have lots of theories on the song, but it felt like Gangubai is kind of revisiting her childhood, especially by this whole dancing sequence. Like uh, feeling like a child again and feeling that pain again, but at the same time, I also felt like this whole pain she's going through, as there was a scene before that with her. Uh, with her finding out that her father died. That's why I think that there was put a lot of effort by everyone who made this movie, not only the actors and actresses and not only by Sanjali Bansali, but the whole team, everyone who worked on this and I was super super impressed. And again guys, I can only repeat, this was one of the best Bollywood movies I've watched in the last few years, not only by the performance, but the storytelling, everything. and. I always, always appreciated Sanjay Lila Bansali's work. I didn't like every single kind of movie of his, like Bajid uh, Mastani, but Mavad really looked awesome, but they weren't my thing. The last movie was like Ram Lila, and I also really needed to get used to it. But Gangu by Katiyavali was something totally different. And if you didn't watch that movie yet, I can only recommend it, but if it really isn't your style, then don't do it. But I only can say that you're missing out if you don't watch this masterpiece. So guys, now let's check out the comment section real quick under this whole video. Really hope that I didn't speak or talk too much about it, but I just had to get all of this off my chest as this whole movie is absolutely awesome and I really, really want people to watch this. And I just love to talk about this, guys. Oh my god, did someone post this whole movie on YouTube? 
Okay, maybe you can already watch it on YouTube. Yes, yes, yes. She nailed it. I'm not an admirer of hers, but I can't be stupid to not praise the work she has done in this movie. She literally lived the character. And yes, guys, I have to admit that, like, in the beginning of Alia's career, I really had, like, a love-hate relationship with her. It's not that harsh. Uh, actually, like, I liked her, then I was not that a big fan of hers, like, it always switched. It was also, like, this competition going on with Shatta Kapoor, like it was in the beginning with Sara Ali Khan and Janmi Kapoor. And now that I also grew up and so on, <laughs> I really think that Alia, oh my god, she's such an amazing actress and she really deserves all of the praise, success, and she's really hardworking and so dedicated and really did an absolutely amazing performance in here. Yes, that Ija dialogue hits hard. Can feel the pain through her eyes. Alia is just incredible. Looking forward to watch this on the big screen. This is exactly also why I absolutely love this movie. Alia really carried this whole movie, especially with her eyes. Her eyes told everything. There was also this one sequence when... Um, it's a little spoiler, so if you don't want to listen to this, then please skip this now. Uh, when uh, her lover... Uh, that she also is really in love with when she uh, when she gets in married with this girl and uh, then she is laughing that it hurts a lot and oof, I could really really feel the pain and when I think about this again I could cry and this whole layering of her and this whole uh, her acting this was all layering and she was smiling and you could see in her eyes that she's actually really going through a lot of pain and could cry right now and oh my god that's why so people really also absolutely praise Alia in here and she really deserves this. People hate on her for being an advocate but, on my, but in my opinion she's absolutely talented. She's lucky to be born into a film family and she used her connections properly so would we if we were in her place. Yes, yes, yes. This is so true, guys, and I really love it that so many people came to their senses as Alia was just so, so phenomenal in this whole movie. Really, watch this movie if you didn't already. Oh my god, I'm stuttering because it's just an absolute masterpiece. So, guys, that's enough of this reaction. I really hope you liked it. So, if you're new to my channel and check out my other reactions, I mostly do well reactions because Bollywood is my life. Then, if you haven't done it, then please follow me on Instagram. I post everything Bollywood there. And please check out my Bollywood talk videos and my Bollywood edits. I put so much fun and sweat into these videos. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss anything in the future. Just if you want, of course, I'm forcing anyone. But that's it. Hope to see you guys in another reaction again. Bye. <laughs>